This video is about bullet journaling. I've been bullet journaling for a few years and I've improved and gotten more resources and materials and pens and highlighters etc to put my bullet journal together. Let me start by showing you my, my most recent page for the month. This is October and to start off with there's something you might notice these little printed photos. Now I don't possess a traditional color printer I only have a black and white one. What I do have is a sprocket. Now sprockets aren't too expensive anymore I don't think. I spent $200 on this. Very useful. It comes with ooh, it comes with little I don't know what you'd call them. They basically feel like photos like when you touch them they feel like photos and all their inking ability lies within them. So I highly recommend getting a sprocket if you are going to have a bullet journal because Look at these lovely pictures from Halloween that I was able to just so simply put in my in my bullet journal. Now, second to having a sprocket printer, I recommend a range of different pens, pencils, highlighters, etc. So starting off with the highlighters, I have a huge collection of light colored highlighters. They're awfully colored now because they spend so much time in my pencil case, but they play a huge role in the organization of my bullet journal. These are from J Burroughs. Each of my subjects will correspond to a color every semester and I'll put that code I have up here. And the code is very important because it kind of gives me an understanding of, of how I'm going to approach that subject. So pink for example, I expect it to be creative and not the most difficult subject in the world. Now I'm sometimes wrong about that, but it stays pink the whole semester regardless. Moving on from the highlighters. I use some little skinny pens, as I call them, that look like this. So I'll put the pack here, and they're made by Stabilo. Come on camera. And they're 88 point, so quite little. And I use them for a range of things in my diary, but primarily I use the pink to write in when I'm going away on different holidays. So in February next year, I am going to, on a group holiday with my friends. And as you can see, I've put in pink group holiday. I think sticking or doing your best to stick to a color coding system is not just good for organization, it's good for the appearance of your bullet journal. It just looks nice. Now moving on from that, as you can see, I fill in, I, I, I write each of these things. Like I, I dedicate time to writing all of those dates in the, the rest of the book is just empty, right? To do that, I use this pen. This is a more expensive pen. It is, I guess it's made by Mitsubishi. I don't know, take a look. This is the pen that I use to write in every date. I've been doing it for years, same pen. So same pen for 2020, 2021, 2022, 2019 too maybe, I'm not sure. So highly recommend this pen, it's an investment. Now you've got your photos, you've got your, your pens, pencils, coloring things. What you need after that is stickers and other materials to really make your bullet journal look good. As you can see here, I've got these two little cute things. I've got a teapot and a teacup and I've got this and this. These are all matching and this motivational thing here. For that, I have quite a few things. So Kmart, Target, good places. I think I got this one from Target. This is a great sticker book of a range of, of different stickers. This was from somewhere in Melbourne, stationery shop, a bit Japanese themed. This one I think was from Kmart, it has a lot of good stickers in it and that's where I get the motivational quotes from. Some of them I don't vibe with but hey, you get them all. This also from Target, now this is very useful, this is paper. You know, dogs, a huge fan of dogs, lots of different dog colors. And this is where I got their teapot and teacup. This one, particularly useful. I put it behind the, the pictures in my bullet journal. 
as I just showed you. See, it's a, like a border-ish kind of thing, but it's actually underneath the pictures. And then in general, I collect nice paper. This, for example, which I'll use at some point, a little bit of this left, all of those kinds of things I'm a huge fan of, and I recommend collecting them. Of course, don't hoard. Be careful not to do that. Easy trap to fall into. So those are the key things for making a good bullet journal. Good pens, sprocket or a printer of some kind, and good stickers and paper. Those are really the things that you need for the most part to make a pretty bullet journal. Now, I also have quite a big collection of washi tape, as it's known, from a range of different places. This one's from Typo. Not sure where this is from, but I, I've had this one for a while. This one as well. And this one is from Officeworks. I keep everything together right next to my computer and near, well, everything on my desk. So I've got pens, one's sticking out a bit, pens, my colored pens, scissors, very important, glue, um, and my washi tape here, and then the stickers down here. So that is my very simple guide to a cute bullet journal. Not so much the technical aspect, but the aesthetic ways that you can put one together. So I hope that helped you out there and thank you very much for watching. I will see you all next week or the week after or the week after that. You never know, I'm aiming for once a week, doing my best. Thank you very much for watching. Leave a like, a comment, check out my shorts if you haven't seen any of those and um, check out my Tumblr where I post a lot of my bullet journal things and goodbye.